Hello, everybody. Just got done playing a round of golf, three courses. You know, and Golden Tee. My favorite's, uh, I think, Golden Tee 2K. I play those three courses every day. I got a 10 under par. Yeah, fair. Hello, kitty. Please get off the Simpsons. Kind of disillusion. Watch the Friday night videos, you know. Made the rounds and uh, everybody's talking about uh, Blitz, 299, Simpsons at 199 at Sam's. I was gonna go to Sam's next week and look at price drops and now I'm just disillusioned. I'm like, why, you know? And I was thinking about it, you know, they are games, right? And we enjoy buying them and enjoy looking at them when they're all lit up. But, uh, had the flu for almost two weeks, still getting over it. Didn't come in here much, you know, I was sick. And it makes you, it gives you time to think. And uh, they are games, right? I mean, like when we grew up, we had board games on the shelf and uh, it's party games, you know, and people that drink, there's drinking games. I don't drink anymore. But how many games do you need, you know? How many games does an adult person need in their house? I mean, my wife and I were bickering over if we got the Legends Multicade, where do we put it? Why get rid of Why don't we get rid of anything? I don't want to sell anything. So I don't know. Just disillusioned. I mean, if I shell out $500 a month or two from now, is it going to be 250 I mean, I'm not poor and broke, but I'm on a fixed income. And I'm not going to shell out five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, you know, and then three months six months later, but that is electronic and uh, consumer goods, right? I mean, they front load where the people that want it the most, like Apple, iPhones, they, they pay, they line up and pay, and later on, not, not iPhones, but later on the price drops. So it's, I guess it's like everything. I've been watching that CoffeeZilla too. I saw him interviewed on Lex and uh, he calls out some scams and frauds, you know, and. It makes you think, you know, how many lies are these people telling us to get our money, you know, just to get our money, you know, promises, broken promises. I'll never go over the video of Cool Toy taking his Marvel vs. Capcom 2 back to the store. You know, I mean, I watched Cool Toy for a couple years and does great reviews. I'm not an online computer presence like him, you know, of course, I'm 59, you know, I'm not young. But, you know, even Cool Toy is like, I've had enough. I've had enough, you know, and when I buy some, I expect it to do what the box says it's going to do, like a toaster, you know, the, I got a toaster and it's all kind of fancy stuff on it and everything. It still does what it's supposed to do, the can opener. Um, I'll tell you this, we bought a TV from Amazon, one of Jeff Bezos TVs. I hate it because if you pause something and you walk away, if you're gone, it's too long, it just shuts off. I've tried to adjust it, the settings. I mean, my receiver and my speakers, they're still on, so I gotta deal with this TV. I gotta shut everything off, so I universally turn it all on. It constantly shuts off if you pause it too long, you know, it just shuts off. It's irritating. So, do I want more irritation in my life? You know, do, do I want a nice, peaceful, happy life? Yeah, you know, and um, do I like to play games? Yes. Do I play them 20 hours a day? No, no, there's other stuff to do, but the games I do have, I enjoy. I love this goal one too. You know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's fun getting high scores. It's fun finding out how you can swing and the wind, working with it. The wind is the big thing in Golden Tee. If you can, if you can line up your shots with the right club and the wind, you're, you're going to hit great shots. You're going to set yourself up for eagles and birdies. It's all in the wind. You know, if you carry that because the uh, little announcer will say, great shot, just great shot, you know, because you've done what you're supposed to. This is way long. This is twice as long as I wanted it to be, but I don't know. I guess my opinion may change, but right now I don't want to buy anything. Nothing. You know, I don't want to buy anything. So we'll see, you know. But thanks for watching. And uh, drop me a comment. I'll be happy to subscribe to your channel and watch you. You know, I, I, I still want to be part of this community, but uh, it makes you wonder, you know, if it's like Beanie Babies or... Uh, any of the other nonsense over the years, I mean, is it gonna wane? After a while, are we just gonna get tired of this and say, why did we buy 15 arcade games? Why did we, why did we buy 10 
three quarter scale arcade games. What's wrong with us, you know? You know? Um, Cause I'm sure, you know, after a while, it's, it's people are gonna look back and say, hmm, you know, but maybe, maybe it's the wave of the future. I mean, maybe, maybe we're just gonna stay at home more, you know? What's gonna happen in those places that have arcade games? I mean, you know, if they don't make any money, they're gonna pull them out, right? So, yeah, I know it's a conundrum, but uh, thanks for watching. And uh, have a good Friday night or Saturday. And uh, <sighs> thank you.